at hour one of four. Done. And the phone continues to ring. Tom Joyner, let us go to the phone and say, good morning. This is a mystery to me, too. Good morning, mystery guest. <laughs> Tom Joyner. Yeah. You know who this is. Who is this? <laughs> this is your favorite member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Oh! Shout That's out right. New Wood. That's right, Tom Jordan. That's right. First of all, Damon Wins, we'll see you at the Centennial Celebration of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> We're very happy that you're going to tell some jokes. But this is about Tom Jordan right now. <laughs> yes, who we've ma'am. been through everything together, Tom Jordan. Let's we've start with through- Chicago. Okay, how far you back you want to go when when you was with uh is Doug Banks and you was the fly jock and you be flying back and forth getting them checks. Thank you for helping <laughs> me get this CBS job over at the Talk Time Joiner because if I wasn't on legitimate radio, I don't know if they would have let me on mainstream TV. So you just <laughs> changed my life, Tom Joiner. Then I had a hair transplant. That's right, brothers oh, and yeah. sisters. So did had a comb over. I was George Jefferson civil. <laughs> Sitting in the chair talking to Tom Jordan about it. But we love you, Tom Jordan, and nobody wants you to go. Nobody wants you to go. Why? We need to put people out the White House. Remember, you get people elected, and then you let us know who we don't need to mess with. When companies (laughs) be tripping, we need you. Matter of fact, call Byron Allen right now. He needs you, Tom. He needs you. And I'm going to tell you something. What? Radio will never be the same. That's right. You was the only light-skinned and freckled dude on the radio <laughs> that we had ever seen. And then, Sybil, he hooked me up. Well, I tried to get hooked up. Right. On the Fantastic Voyage, Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel Lewis was telling me, you know, how... Uh, well endowed he was I was like you should be as little as you are <laughs> Tom Jordan we just want to tell you how much we love you a, a, a mighty man of Omega Sci-Fi always in these streets and you're the reason why we will continue to support HBCUs uh-huh. we love you very very much and for everybody that's on radio everybody lead, need to lay their hands on the radio because if it wasn't for you it uh-huh. wouldn't be the syndicated shows that are out there right now we that's just right. want you to know you uh-huh. are very very loved in these streets and you are a soldier <laughs> <laughs> we love you very, very much. So, what years? What years were you in the uh, funny chair of the uh, of the TJMS? I don't I can, know. I can't remember the years, I but I remember. Was, the I ju- no, I just remember it as exhausting. <laughs> Listen, you? and we would send and we would send Cheryl to some of these events. Some, some of these events, and yeah. Cheryl Underwood would come back, and, and the first thing she would report on was the food. You, you better Always. say it. The Always. cheese. They had good cheese, Tom Jordan. They had good food. I got I got a napkin wrapped up with cheese and crackers. Cause that's what I like. I'm from Arkansas. I like potted meat. That's big scripts. I like potted meat, vine, and sauce because I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. And Tom Jordan, y'all will have me doing the craziest stuff, uh, uh, going into the crazy stuff. I'll be whispering and going and stuff. But I will tell y'all, y'all also took me places that I never thought that I would ever go on the cruise. Baby, we had good time oh. on the crew man that time i was genuine let me tell you something <laughs> oh boy listen the, and, and and the sky shows remember yes. we was in birmingham alabama uh-huh. backstage uh-huh. i don't know what group i was up against it was either the whispers or uh, the oj's I, I i think i met one of the oj's thank you for that relationship too uh-huh. that really worked out <laughs> Forever, mine. <laughs> and Cheryl Underwood, Cheryl Underwood would beat everybody to the joke about who she looked like. Yes, oh yes, <laughs> that that is where the joke was created. That without makeup, I look exactly like Wesley Snipes. People ask me to pay my taxes. <laughs> now, now they say you was really good in that Dolomite movie. You, you do look like Dior, real Mark. You do. <laughs> The fact that we know the names, the fact that we know the names, Uh, brothers and sisters, but uh, I've always had a good time. Look how big you are now. Listen to me. Everywhere. (laughs) Get me checks. Thank God for CBS. Keep watching the talk. You know, I I pray over there. How many years, how many seasons of the talk? Uh, I've been there for nine seasons. This is the 10th season of the show. I started a second season. I didn't see that coming. 
Neither did I. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> see that coming. I got a phone call and I was like, uh, I they thought people Cheryl on Underwood on the talk. Couldn't they, believe they, they was gonna let me be on mainstream TV. And they gonna and let her be Cheryl Underwood. Be myself, yeah. Tom Joyner. But that's a testament to the training that we had with you. You let us all be ourselves, but you told us don't get up here cussing and mess my little <laughs> thing up. Yeah. You know, and and I'm I'm really happy about that, and I'm proud about that. We are now Viacom CBS, and uh, for me to be in. Anywhere on network TV, I'm just proud to have been training on the Tom Jordan Morning Show. Everything that I've got to do, mm-hmm. including the Price is Right. I saw you on the Price okay. is Right. Listen to me. Did you see me and Sharon Osborne on the motorcycle? You see us on the scooter. They had <laughs> never so had good. all that. And, and Cheryl, you were a judge on the Young and the Restless. Was that Listen to me. I was a. I was a. Uh, well, I called myself a judge <laughs> okay. on Young and the Restless. I think I was more like a. I don't know what 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 they do when they. Uh, What's the thing called? Your mediator, were you? A, yeah, I was yeah, something. Where, yeah. You know where they put the um, where you got to put your thumb on the thing. You know what it is. You know what it is. And, the and then they, yeah, the, you, what, your driver's license operator. No, uh, <laughs> they sign it. They sign it. They um. Oh, oh, notary. I notary. I was a notary. Yeah. I was a notary. Yeah. But wait a minute. Then they moved me over to. <laughs> then they moved me over to Bold and Beautiful when I was over oh, there with okay. Dollar Bill. Man, he smelled good. But Eric Brayton <laughs> smelled good too, and Peter Bergman smelled good too. And and I will tell you something. I've gotten a chance to do some things I never thought. Go to the Super Bowl with CBS mm. in New Orleans. You know. But that mm. that's what this is all about. From the this, West Side. That's man. And, listen and me. And you give a James Brown impersonation like nobody's business listen to me oh my god and then went all the way from james brown to james brown then i did little richard Woo! that's when i won i beat him i beat him with that one i did little richard then i did a prince i did a very prince, voluptuous yeah. fat prince you know <laughs> <laughs> i was fat when prince. you were when you were with me and on the sky show you did black elvis yes i did that's where shelvis a tribute to the right. king came shelvis. from that's shelvis. Right. shelvis shelvis, shelvis a, Underwood. a tribute to the king and then took that out to the USO and was in Afghanistan, Kuwait, Beirut. We was everywhere. Iraq, Iran. We, Iraq, Iran. That's right. And uh, you are a crossover, and you have never, you have never changed. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to stay out in these streets. And and oh, I also, I just did Barry White on the show. I for oh, Halloween, wow. I did Barry White. But <laughs> let me tell you something about that, Tom Jordan. I'm not going to change who I am. I'm going to continue to evolve. And that's the other thing I got to thank you about you are the person that gave us the example of driving souls to the polls interviewing these politicians and make sure they do what they supposed to do now we got to get on the census road we got to fill out our census forms and Tom Joyner I hope that you all will meet us in Washington DC August of 2020 Remember as we, we went historically on the- recreate the 1963 March on Washington and why is that happening because remember when I called you Tom and I said we need to do black radio solidarity day yep. 2016 Hey, yeah. Cheryl. And, yes. I want yes. to thank you so much for all you've done and uh, you continue to do and um, for marking this occasion by coming on and talking to us. Well, thank, thank you history. all. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, Sybil. Bye, Damon. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, Cheryl. And Tom Joyner, we love you. <laughs> we love, love you. you. See you in D.C. in August. All Bye, right. Tom. I Bye, got Tom. time. <laughs> oh, stop playing. Stop playing. I got time. Ain't no problem. I got I got plenty of time. I'll see you then. Life's right. getting freckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The open enrollment for Obamacare Act is ending this Sunday, December 15th. This Sunday. Health Markets is a free service that helps individuals and families find affordable health insurance under Obamacare. With access to 180 different insurance companies, thousands of health plans, and the ability to obtain government government subsidies, they can help you lower the cost and save money. Most Americans are required by law to sign up for coverage before December 15th. With the deadline fast approaching, health markets can quickly help folks to find the right coverage at the lowest cost. Don't miss the deadline and risk paying a significant tax penalty. Most of all, don't go it alone. When health markets can help individuals and families find the right health insurance plan under Obamacare at the lowest possible rates. Don't miss out. The deadline is this Sunday, December 15th. That's this Sunday for free service. Call 800-902-4989. That's 800-902-4989. 1-800-902-4989. 
Cheryl Underwood. The one and only. Yeah. There will never, ever be another Tom Joyner, and there will never, ever be another Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> Man, I didn't see that coming when I met her a long, long, long time ago. If you'd have told me she'd have been crossover, I said, what? <laughs> Cheryl who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is crossover. And more yes, fun sir. coming on the Tom Joyner Morning 